Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today, we're looking at a couple of beers from the Leinen Kugel Brewing Company in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. All right, so uh, the Line and Kugel Brewing Company uh, was founded in 1867 in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, it's a regional beer, uh, kind of in that upper Midwest, United States, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, that kind of area. Uh, it's not something you're going to find widely across the U.S., but I've it's a, it's, a, it's a brand that I'm pretty familiar with. So I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba. If I'm going to do like a road trip to the United States, it's usually um, North Dakota, Minnesota. And this is a pretty popular beer brand uh, in those states. And um, yeah, my partner went down to Minnesota uh, in early January uh, on a ski trip. And I asked her, Bring me back some Line and Kugel. It's been a while since I've had some. I actually had the pleasure of visiting the Line and Kugel Brewery actually back in 2015. My friend Leon and I did a road trip there. It's a 10-hour drive from Winnipeg to Chippewa Falls, uh, but we had a great time checking out the brewery, hanging out in the Liney Lodge, um, and then we checked out uh, another brewery in um, Eau, Claire, Eau Claire, uh Wisconsin, the next day. Uh, yeah, a lot of good breweries in that area. Um, but anyway, uh, Line and Kugel, um, the beer I know most from them would probably be their Honey Vice. That seems to be the one that's on tap everywhere. And yeah, like uh, to me, like it was always a beer that stood out on like my road trips to the U.S. Because I think back a few years before craft beer really exploded, it was just the Honey Vice really stood out amongst all of your kind of American macros that you had in most places, right? Your your Miller High Life and Budweiser's and things like that. So I always liked that beer. That time I took the trip down to the brewery, got to uh, sample some of their summer shandies. They were really good. Uh, but yeah, Catherine was down there and she picked me up a um, uh, fall winter variety pack, um, lodge pack, I think it's called. And uh, I'm going to do two of the beers out of there today. And then uh, in the next episode, I'll feature the other two. So I just kind of randomly grabbed one of them right now. This is the uh, Sunset Wheat. It is 4.9% alcohol uh, with natural blueberry and citrus flavors. So Sunset Wheat, I'm thinking something along the lines of a wit beer. Um, yeah, let's check this out. And of course, because I took a trip down there a number years ago, I've got some... Uh, appropriate glassware today. We've got an official Line and Kugel, Line and Kugel Brewery glass. All right, so let's pour this in there. It's very fizzy. Lots of activity. Oh, I'm getting a bit of the blueberry on the nose already. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, I... Yeah, I didn't know what to expect out of this because it's been a while. It's been a few years since I've had a line in Kugel. Um, but yeah, on the nose, I'm very impressed with that. So let's take a look at the color. Yeah, very much like a, a like a wheat beer. Uh, very, very <laughs> hazy. Can't see. I don't think you can't really see my finger through there at all. Uh, the head is really nice and fluffy looking. Um, yeah, and like I said... The blueberry note is really, really strong on the nose. Let's go in for a sip. Yeah, definitely getting the blueberry in there. But, like, mixed in with other things, it's not like a full-out blueberry ale, which, uh, I don't know if you... How much you watch this channel, but for me, I always find that's a hit and miss kind of style. There's some some blueberry beers I've really enjoyed. Some haven't done it for me. This isn't bad. The blueberry is, it's the most, uh, the flavor that stands out the most, but I'm definitely getting some orange in there as well. And maybe just a hint, a hint of... Um, the coriander uh, that you usually get in in a wheat beer, just just a hint of that. Uh, the body is very light, very uh, 
quite thin actually um and it's very uh it's a very bubbly beer um Yeah, I like I, it's it's died down a little, but the first few sips are very, like like just tiny tiny like champagne kind of bubbles. Um, yeah, it's it's not a bad beer. It's quite nice. Um, what else can I tell you about this one? It is, um, as I said, blueberry and citrus flavors. Uh, welcoming back a fan favorite, Lion and Kugel's Sunset Wheat is a Belgian style wit beer. Uh, with citrus, blueberry, and natural coriander flavors for a delightful, fruity aroma and light, refreshing citrus taste. Uh, we're thrilled to pl- bring back this classic beer, but it's only available for a limited time. So this is yeah, this is one of their uh, seasonal beers, I guess. Um, it, I think that could actually be... It, it, to me, it seems very summery, but it's obviously a fall beer. It's in the fall-winter pack. Uh, and, you know, the imagery kind of evokes... Well, it could evoke summer or fall, really, I guess. Um, But yeah, it's quite a nice beer. All right, so next up we are doing a porter. um, The Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. Uh, You can see the lake image there. There's some snow on the ground and on a little cottage there. It's it's a wintry beer. This one, I think, is exclusive to their fall-winter pack. Uh, This is 6% alcohol. Uh, and I don't know if I've ever tried it before. I might have tried it once uh, that time I was at the brewery a number of years ago. Because I remember doing a flight and there was one darker beer. Uh, I can't remember if it was exactly if it was a porter or not. But uh, it's not a style I usually associate with Lion and Kugel. I try. I usually associate those more kind of lighter, summery kinds of beers with this company. But uh, yeah, we're going to give this porter a try. Oh, it's <laughs> fizzing over there a little bit. Making a mess everywhere. Good thing I have some bar towels. All right. On the nose. Getting a lot, really. Got a little bit of a sweet note on the nose. This would be the vanilla, I guess. But I'm not like really discerning it as vanilla. Of course, the color is is pitch black. And you hold on to the light and get a oh, well, more of a dark, dark brown. Like I can can see a bit through there. Um, yeah, it's uh, going for a taste. God, it's quite nice. Um, yeah, definitely get the vanilla now. Um, yeah, that is a nice and sweet. I'm thinking maybe even a touch of chocolate. Um, drift into winter with snow drift vanilla porter, a fuller bodied brew with hints of cocoa, coffee, and caramel brought out by the roasted malts and aged on real vanilla. Yeah, so there you go. Um, definitely getting uh, not so much the caramel a little bit of the coffee and definitely the uh the chocolate and the vanilla um body wise fairly light actually um a bit of a creaminess to the mouthfeel yeah this is a, a pretty decent porter especially if you like like a dessert porter uh it's it's a slow sipper for sure uh, quite decent. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be do- featuring a couple other beers from that line and Kugel pack uh, in the next episode. So uh, hope to see you all then. Cheers, everybody.